Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. Today I am bringing you my beauty and makeup empties for the month of September. This is also where I show you anything that comes into my collection, whether it be gifts, whether it be purchases. And then at the end, I'll give you the final numbers, all of the empties totals, the purchase totals, the year to date, all of that jazz. So as always, we're going to start with beauty empties. And I'm going to show you a couple of things that don't count toward my beauty budget. Although, honestly, I don't really have a beauty budget right now because I'm unemployed. So I'm not buying anything. Um, so I don't have any purchases. I will tell you that right now. But my normal beauty budget was $25 a paycheck going into my beauty account. I have a very little bit left in there, but I have not bought anything. But let's go through the empties first. These are things that I do not, but these are things that I do not penalize myself for. And the first one is the, is, this is a pack of cotton squares. This was the Kroger brand. If you have a Kroger near you, this is the Kroger brand. Um, my daughter actually gave me these. I ran out, she had an extra pack. I do not recommend these. I used them because they're, they were free. She gave them to me, but these are really poor quality cotton squares. Anytime you put any kind of liquid on them, they just dissolve, they fall apart. But I used them all. They were here, I used them all. Don't recommend. And then I have my regular Fisher Price uh, baby wipes. You get 72 for $1.25. I use these, I only use them for swatches anyway, but I use these because it is just more economical to buy the baby wipes as opposed to makeup remover wipes. So that was all that doesn't count toward my empties. I have a few hair items here. This is from Alterna, My Hair, My Canvas, Easy Does It Air Dry Balm. I got this in a box. I'm pretty sure it was a Luxley box um, back when they used to have those. I got a ton of awesome hair care and skin care in the Luxley boxes. I really enjoyed that box and I'm really sad that they decided not to do them anymore. But uh, I would not repurchase this because I do not air dry my hair. I always diffuse my hair. Um, occasionally, very occasionally, I will air dry my hair. So I kind of used this as just a curl cream or a styling cream. Uh, but no, I would not repurchase that because no, I don't use things in that way. The next thing is the We Dod. This is the Advanced Climate Control Feather Light Styling Cream Deluxe Sample. Um, I believe I got this in a Luxley box also. Either that or in a BoxyCharm, but I don't think I got it in BoxyCharm. I honestly can't remember because I've had this for a long time. I love the We Dod brand hair care items. This is my Holy Grail gel. This is the Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. I got this at Sam's like months ago. I think there's still like that much left in it. I just use a couple of pumps. It's very, very thin, but that's not in my empties. I just wanted to show you because I really do love this brand. Would absolutely repurchase this. I really liked it. It's not a curl cream, but I used it like a curl cream and it was wonderful. We do have a really bad humidity here in Ohio and it did the job. Um, I did find that my, the place where I buy my hair care products, you need a license to get in. They now carry the Wee Dodd. So I get it at cost. I haven't bought any yet, but I know it's there and I know that I could buy it and that makes me very happy. Lastly for hair, um, this is something that has never happened before in my entire life. I finished a shampoo and a conditioner at the same time. What? That never happens. That never happens. Um, I don't know how that happened other than I didn't really use them. I didn't always use them together. Anyway, this is the advanced techniques. This is from Avon advanced techniques. Uh, 360 Nourish Moroccan Argan Oil of all of their shampoos and conditioners that they had. I don't know. I don't know if they still have shampoos and conditioners, but I love these. Uh, I thought these were really good shampoo conditioner. They gave a ton of moisture. Anything with Moroccan or Argan Oil, I really do like because my hair is on the dry side. 
And um, so yeah, I was really, really happy. These were in my closet that I went through at the end of the year to see what I wanted to use up this year. Things that were very old, these were very old. I had been using this uh, brand of shampoo for years, but I hadn't used it in a really long time. Um, but I'm really happy that they're gone because those are just two more items that are out of my closet. That makes me happy. And then I have some skincare items. I have this, this is the Brightener or Brighton Otisite Vitamin C and E plus Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is just a deluxe sample. I got this in an Ipsy bag back when I got, used to get Ipsy. Um, for as tiny as it is, I really got a lot of product out of it. You just used a little bit. I used it in the daytime. I used it for my daytime serum because it does have vitamin C in it. I thought it was nice. Um, it's a little pricey. I probably would not purchase a full size because there are less expensive things that I like just as well. And so I would not repurchase it, but not because it wasn't good. I just really liked it. Oh, also, can I just say that this dropper was broken when I got it and I am not exaggerating. I am 100% truthful when I tell you that anything I've ever gotten from Ipsy or BoxyCharm that had a dropper or a pump was broken. Everything, every single product I've ever had from BoxyCharm or Ipsy that had a dropper or a pump was broken. The pump was broken or the dropper was broken. Either way. Just saying. I'm just putting that out there. I have the Good Molecules Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. I don't put a lot of stock into eye creams, eye gels. I have them from boxes. I use them. Um, I thought this was okay. Uh, it did moisturize my under eyes, but I would not repurchase it because I don't purchase eye creams or eye gels usually um, just because I don't, I kind of think they're scammy. I don't have any proof. This is just my own crazy, but I just think that eye creams are just regular moisturizer that's repackaged as eye cream so they can charge you more. That's just my, that's my theory anyway. So while I used it up and I enjoyed using it, it was fine. Um, I would not repurchase. And lastly, I have the First Aid Beauty. This is the Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. I loved this. I really liked this a lot. This was my nighttime toner for a while, and then I switched to the daytime because I just wanted to use it up, and I wanted to bring in my Hyaluronic Acid Essence to use in the evening. I would repurchase this. If I found it on sale, deeply discounted, whatever, I thought it was nice. I really, I really did enjoy it. I have a couple of things that I'm going to declutter. The first one is, and I can't even remember what this says because I can't read it. It's so tiny. This is the Lifestyle Company from Los Angeles Detox Hair Serum, Nutrient Plant Scalp Treatment. Um, I used this as a hair oil. I didn't use it as a scalp oil because um, I have scalp oils that I really, really love, but this has gone off. Um, it had been sitting here for a while. I went to use it as a hair oil because I was out of my bread uh, hair oil that I finished last month and it smells rancid. So it smells like old cooking oil. So I'm going to declutter that. I'm not going to put that on my hair. And then this is a possible declutter. I want you guys to tell me. These are the Toner Puff by Makeup Eraser. So I have makeup erasers. I love them very much. These are like little, little poofs, little cotton rounds. The problem is when I used this with my micellar water, I got, I got white floof all over my face. It's like, it's shedding. So should I wash them first? Wash them? Cause I have a little, a little uh, net, a little mesh bag where I can wash them um, and, and keep them together and dry them or let them dry or whatever. 
um, and then try to use them again because I love my makeup erasers and I did not have that with my makeup erasers. I've never had them um, shed onto my face. So let me know if you know anything about makeup erasers. Let me know if this is something that will go away if I wash them or if they're always going to do that because I really don't want to get rid of them if they are still good, like if they're, if they're good to use because being a makeup eraser plus my micellar water uh, would probably take off my mascara really well. So I don't want to get rid of them unless they're going to keep shedding and then I'm not, I'm not doing all that was rudely interrupted by my neighbor's car alarm that goes off all the time. I had to wait for it to be done for them to finally turn it off um, before I continued. I have a couple of things that do not count toward my beauty empties. And this is a sponge. This is one of the pawpaw sponges from Shop Miss A, which are some of my favorite. But this one's tired. It's all pitted. Um, it's cracking and breaking apart. These get washed so often. Um, my sponges get washed every time I do my makeup. So when I get ready in the morning and I know I'm doing my makeup, I will wash them with my cleanser. And um, so they go through hell and back. And then I have a sharpener. I have this Dragon Beauty sharpener. I think I got it in an Ipsy or a Boxy with a lip liner or an eyeliner from Dragon Beauty. I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't keep the, the eyeliner, but this has sharpened its last pencil. Um, it was tearing stuff up, and so I'm getting rid of it. Okay, the things that do count. You guys, I finished a concealer. This is a mini. It is a deluxe sample size concealer, but I'm taking it as a win. This is the Kosas. Um, I can't remember what it's actually called. It's just the Kosas concealer. Um, I believe, I believe I got this gift with purchase from... Sephora, it would have to be Sephora, right? So I got this uh, gift with purchase from Sephora and I did not like it. I liked the formula. The formula was very nice. It was so yellow on my skin, so yellow. So I actually just ended up using it as a spot treatment, like for my little spot here, my spots up here, and just kind of mixing it in with my foundation to get rid of it. So it's empty. I have a First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. I think I only have two of these little guys left. I was hoarding them because they discontinued this type of primer, which I love. I love this primer. They discontinued it and came out with the, is it like the souffle or the something? I can't remember. And if, if you use that, let me know what it does with pores. Um, but I don't like when they reformulate stuff that I love. So I have two more of these left. I bought a whole hoard of them off of either Poshmark or Mercari, uh, and I only have two left. So it is it is my favorite primer, non-drugstore primer. Um, yeah, so that is sad. I finished a powder, a pressed powder. This was in my Out the Door in 24. This was the Avon Glow uh, in Sunkissed Glow. This was supposedly a bronzer, but it wasn't a bronzer. It was a, it was my skin tone shade. It was not a bronzer and it, it didn't have any glow in it, <laughs> but this was my oldest powder in my whole entire collection. I've had it for years. Um, matter of fact, I was looking at it the other day. I was curious to see if there was a date on the back. So I got my magnifying glass out. 2012. This is a 12 year old powder. It didn't smell. It worked fine. It did not break me out, but I'm shocked that it was 12 years ago that I bought this powder. I think it was when I was selling Avon. I thought it was, I thought it was when my grandma sold, but that would have been over 20 years ago. So I know it's not that old. So I wanted to look at the date to see 2012. I have another powder. My NARS translucent crystal. This is the light reflecting powder. I have been working on this die hard since I finished all my other loose powders in my out the door in 24. Um, this was my next oldest and you guys, it is completely gone. I put the sifter back in it, but it is completely gone. You can see it's completely gone. This was a lovely powder. I'm pretty sure I got this in a boxy charm at some point 
and it was lovely. I loved it. Would not probably repurchase because damn, that's expensive for a powder. And I know that I love other powders that are much less expensive. Uh, mainly the e.l.f. HD powder, very, very similar. I can use it under my eyes and I can't use every powder under my eyes. So uh, I really did love this. Um, what's another powder I can use? Oh, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. It's like six bucks. I'm not going to spend, I, I think this was $54, honestly. Wait a minute. $34. $34 for this powder. How many mils is it? It is 0.35 ounces for $34. No, no thank you. No thanks. If I found it on sale, I would buy it because it was lovely, but mm -mm, no thanks. And then lastly, I have the Slim Brow. This is the AOA Studios Slim Brow Eyebrow Pencil. And I don't use a lot of pencils because of my, I use um, eyeshadow in my brows, but I've been unofficially going through my brow pencils and seeing if I can use them and get rid of them because I don't use brow pencils. So I've been trying to get rid of them. It is gone. This was in the shade Caramel. I believe it was in the shade Caramel. Does it tell me? Yeah. This was in the shade Caramel and I really liked the shade. Um, I really liked the pencil a lot. It was super tiny was super duper tiny and so I really did like it I just don't like using anything but eyeshadow on my brows so yeah I've been going through little by little by little to get rid of those okay so I don't have any purchases oh wait wait I do stand by so I actually do have a purchase I didn't think I did but I do have a purchase from Amazon. It doesn't count because it doesn't count in my purchases or my empties when I get rid of them. But um, I got some sharpeners. That sharpener was sad. So I went on Amazon. These are e.l.f. e.l.f. sharpeners. Is that right side up? No. e.l.f. sharpeners. And it has the two. It has the little one and the big one. And they're really nice. I tried them out. Um, they were super cheap. I can't even remember how much they were but I think it was like $3 or something for each. So I got two of them because I use, I like to use one for my eye products and one for my lip products. I don't like to not cross contaminate as far as germs. I mean, but yeah, maybe. Um, but do you guys clean your sharpeners? Cause you should be cleaning your sharpeners. Um, I clean them with a, a Q-tip and alcohol, but, um, if I sharpen a black liner, I don't want to sharpen a pink lip liner in the same thing. Does that make sense? So I do have those. But I did get some gifts, you guys. I got some gifts from my friends. First off, from Miss Charlie at Sea Nut Butter Beauty. She sent me a couple of things. She sent a beautiful baby blanket for my future granddaughter that's going to be here very soon. Very soon. But she crocheted a beautiful beautiful blanket for the little miss that's coming and she sent me a few things as well so she sent me the ace beauté this is the mystic romance palette um i did just bring this in for fall if you saw my um all of the products i'm bringing in for fall and it is so pretty this is so fall to me i mean these dark these dark shades but also like the jewelry tones to like the pink and the purple. Um, I am so excited to use this. I have swatched it. I haven't used it, but I have swatched it. Um, but yes, so love, love that. And then she sent me this Milani Eye Single. This is in the shade Bella Bronze. And does it say Bella Eyes? Bella Eyes Powder Eyeshadow. And I don't own any eyeshadow. I take that back. I do. I do have a soft and sultry, soft and sultry palette from old school Milani that I got from Erica Conger. Um, but I don't have any like eyeshadow singles or anything like that. And I do love Milani. But this is so pretty. 
It is a beautiful, rich brown shade. Love it. So she sent me that. So thank you again, Charlie, for my goodies and for my beautiful blanket, not mine, for Little Miss's beautiful blanket. This is from my Instagram. I posted this on Instagram and she sent me all of that. She also sent me, you can see in the picture, some Betty Boop socks. Those are in the laundry. Um, she sent me two pairs of Betty Boop socks. When I took the picture, I was wearing the others. So, um, yeah, I love Betty. I love Betty. So she knows me. And then the second bit of friend mail that I got is from Deb, from the channel Deb B. Deb sent me the BH Sweet Shop Cherry on Top palette. I have the pistachio, bubblegum, and uh, cotton candy. And I kind of want them all. I kind of want them all. Uh, because they're such an amazing formula. You guys, I miss BH. But anyway, this one is a red palette. It's got reds, pinks, wines. And this is like a, a red orange. And the formula on this is beautiful. I have swatched it. I have not used it. Um, I probably won't use these shades right here, but I will definitely use these, these, and these for sure. And it's just so, oh, the formula, especially the shimmers in these Sweet Shop palettes. If you have a chance to get them on Mercari or Poshmark, I highly recommend because I miss BH so much. You know, in their day, they were amazing. Revolutions ruined them. Anyway, she also sent me a picture of some things, asking me if I wanted any of these items from her hoard that she was decluttering. And I picked up two of the e.l.f. Uh, putties because I love the putty formula. So I picked up the e.l.f. putty bronzer in tan lines. Yes, I've already rehomed them. I did it like the day after I got them. This is in tan lines. I just finished the tan lines. Um, I had it in, I had melted it into the Revolution Cream Bronzer packaging and I was using it in my Out the Door in 24 and I finished it. So I am so happy to have another one because of all of them, this one's my favorite, my favorite shade. It just seems to work with my skin tone the best of all of them, but I have like four of them. And then I have the e.l.f. Putty Blush in Maui. This is gorge. It is a pinky brown. It is so pretty. I have already swatched it. I'll swatch it for you guys. When you swatch it, there's not a whole lot of pigment. You can see that there's some pigment and then it, it blends out. I like applying these with a brush. I feel like you get more pigment when you apply it with a brush and then I blend it out with a damp sponge. I do that with both my putty bronzers and my putty blushes. Apply them with a brush, blend them out with a sponge. And yes, this is one of the luminous, you can see the swirlies in it. So beautiful, so beautiful. Let's talk numbers, want to? So for my beauty empties, my September beauty empties, were $69 even. That's what the, everything totaled up is $69 even. My September makeup empties were $51 even. How does that happen? $51 even for my makeup empties for a total of $120. Now this is not my most successful empties month. Uh, September wasn't, but I was so happy to get those two powders out that concealer, even though it's a deluxe sample, super excited, super excited about that. Do I have my Kosas on here? I do, I do. Oh, for the two mils, it was only two mils, uh, it ended up equaling like four bucks. Um, but, and like, and like I said, the NARS powder was $34. So that is why my totals were at least $51 because the eyebrow pencil was a dollar uh, the Avon Glow Powder was $7 back in the day. And the First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone was $5. So that all equals out to $51. Um, so total for the month, $120 with my beauty and my makeup empties. Year to date beauty is $2,126.86. 
and then my year-to-date makeup empties, $622.57 for a total of $2,749.43. You guys, I might make $3,000. I'm ho I was hoping to make $3,000 by the end of December. I think I might do it. I actually think I might do it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that's even close to being empty right now, and I honestly can't think of anything. I do have some skincare that's getting down there. Oh, I do have um, a couple. I have a primer that's almost empty and another concealer that's almost empty. So those will be empty by next empties. And so I will have those in there, but hopefully I can get to 3000 by the end of the year. Tell me down in the comments what you finished for September. Did you finish something big? Did you purchase something that you're super excited about? Let me know. Let's start a conversation. Before you go, if you don't mind, hit that like button down there. It helps out my channel tremendously, helps me get in front of more people. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I do beauty content. I do panning. I do empties. I would really love to have you. You guys, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate being here. And until next time, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.